Hey everyone, this is Theo. Welcome to another drawing tutorial. Today's topic is on simplification. I'm going to draw this window over and over again. Each time I'm going to try and simplify it further and see how far I can go with this. If I remember correctly, I have created several tutorials on simplification before on my YouTube channel. I'll try to find those tutorials and put the links to them in the video description below so you can uh, check them out. Before I start, let's take a look at this window and talk a little bit about the details. So you can see this window is actually recessed into the building. And this window is in perspective, but don't worry too much about perspective today. We are going to um, look at the details. So we have some grills here, some grills here. We have some windows here and the windows inside. There is uh, this uh, railing here. So there is a lot of details that uh, makes this window very three-dimensional. If you want to follow along, you can download this reference photo. The link will be in the video description below. Let's start by drawing the big shapes first. I'm going to draw this part first. So I'm just going to draw it very casually. Now, usually when you are drawing on a large piece of paper, you have the space to draw all the details. So I'm going to start by drawing um, this rather large. So this will go all the way down like this. And this is the window on this side. Now this is a tutorial on simplification. So I'm not going to um, talk too much about perspective or other things. Now, notice I drew the thickness of the window here. So let me just go in like this because this is recessed into the side of the wall of this building. It comes down like this. And this line will come down here. And this is where this window is. So this will come down like this. And this is the bottom here. And this is the bottom of this window. So we'll draw it all the way down. There's a thickness to this window too. So for this part here, I'm going to draw this uh, square. Now there is a recess part. So I'm going to draw that thickness as well. I'm going to um, draw this part first and then duplicate all the details here uh, for this window. They are pretty similar. And here there is a stick right in the middle, a piece of wood there. And there is a tall rectangle here and here. And I see some window grills. The window grills are tilted at an angle. So maybe I want to get the angle right. So this is what I have so far. Drawing something like this requires patience. As long as you draw the big shapes first, filling in the details later will be so much easier. Now let's draw the grills here. I'm going to draw the square or a squarish shape here so that I can draw the grills, draw the grills within. Again, this part here is recessed inside and the grills look like this. The grills are tilted slightly. And now let's draw this uh, window within the window. This part is also recessed. So I have to draw that perspective line going into the building. Comes down like this. Let's draw the railing here. And now I'm going to draw the shapes within the railing. There is, um, there are one, two, three, three holes there. So we draw one, two, three. And this will come here. Go down like this. And I believe this is like this. There is volume for all these grills as well, so I need to draw the thickness of the grills. So now you can see it's starting to have a lot of details. Okay, then let's draw the window here. I'm going to draw this line right in the middle here. 
and I'm going to draw this glass this glass will stop here and looks like there is this black glass here comes down here and here like this and for this part again and this will go down here and here and here I've drawn all the necessary parts so now I'm just going to fill in the blanks for this using the same uh, details so this is the completed window as you can see it's very detailed let's take a closer look for every element that has lines I have drawn them for lines that I can see I have drawn them I've included them so this is how the sketch looks like you can see it's very loose so now I'm going to try and simplify this I'm going to start by drawing this part first again this time around I'm going to draw it a bit smaller when you are drawing smaller there is less space to draw details so this is the recess into the side of the building this is the window I think I still want to draw the side of the window this is the window on the other side all right for this part here I'm going to still draw a rectangle here but instead of drawing the individual grills like this I'm going to use horizontal lines instead so earlier on I drew each piece of wood there but now I'm just going to use horizontal lines and for this uh, part here I'm going to draw it like this two rectangles and for this I'm going to draw it down like this I'm still going to draw that vertical rectangle but instead of the individual grills again I'm going to draw horizontal lines and there is this uh, piece of wood right there in the middle instead of drawing a rectangle I'm going to just draw one straight line down like this and for this part here which has two rectangles instead of two now I'm going to draw just one and this is the bottom of the window and for the this part here this for this part here this is a bit tricky so maybe I'm not going to draw the recess into the into the building I'm just going to draw the windows a long window like this and then like this for the railings I'm still going to draw the shapes within the railings but this time around I'm not going to draw the volume of those railings so I'm just going to leave the railings like this and this is the window and let me just fill up this part here all right so this is the second version you can see now that there is less detail but at a glance you can sort of tell that they are the same window and now let me challenge myself to see if I can simplify this further once again I'm going to draw the top part first I'm still going to draw the recessed window so instead of um, drawing the volume the thickness of that window here this time around I'm just going to draw that window as one rectangle like this and the other window here on the left side it's going to look like this this part here I think I shall do the same so instead of two squares here now I'm drawing one um, long rectangle white rectangle and drawing a line within and for this part here maybe instead of drawing that long rectangle I'm going to use lines like this and then draw this uh, line in and this rectangle maybe I'll I shall leave it in there and for the railings well well it's a bit more challenging now um, instead of drawing the 
shapes within maybe now I'm just going to draw something like this so there are supposed to be three holes here but now I'm drawing two only instead of drawing the line dividing these two pieces of glass I'm just going to draw the two pieces of glass so now it looks like this and now let's try and simplify this even further so again let's start from the top this time I'm going to well it actually needs I actually need to think a bit before I draw so I'm going to draw like this and maybe I'm not going to draw the recess part anymore I'm just going to draw it as if this part is on the surface of the wall and instead of drawing many horizontal lines now I drew only four lines for each uh, rectangle and this part here again I'm not going to draw this part here but for the rails the handrails I'm still going to draw them and the windows the glass window so I'm still going to draw them and now it looks like this you can see the windows they are getting smaller and smaller this is about three times smaller compared to this this is getting very challenging sometimes drawing it feels like a puzzle you have to think of ways to um, draw what you want to draw and fit it properly onto the pitch and still have that item look uh, like something that you are drawing so when I look at something like this and I want to simplify it I would think in this way if I can draw this window with only 10 lines what are the lines that I would use to draw so in this case I'm still going to start with the top here this time I'm going to draw this window here like this and like this um, maybe I'll draw this so instead of the horizontal lines now I'm using squares and for the windows here maybe I'm maybe I'm still going to draw those um, those horizontal grills and now the and now the railing looks like this this is the glass and now let's make this even smaller so this time around I'm going to draw just a window pane here like this and like this actually this is not small enough let me try again let me draw half the size of this so I'm going to draw all right this is small enough Okay, so this time I'm I don't have the space to draw this part here so maybe I'll just um, draw something like this I don't have space to draw the grills anymore so maybe I will just draw the handrails maybe I can afford to put some dots on the windows when you're drawing something as small as this sometimes it's just impossible to put any details in so let me draw a variation without any details so this is probably how it would look like without any details so there is one rectangle here two three four just four rectangles for this window so this is the window the same window drawn seven times I did not count this in because these two they are quite similar so there are seven windows each time I try to simplify the window and each time as I draw the window smaller I would think to myself what are the lines that I can remove but still make the subject recognizable and the lines that I choose to remove are usually lines that do not contribute to the form of the uh, subject for example here when we take a look at this window the lines that contribute to the form are actually this line here this line here that goes into the building any line that is on the surface that doesn't change the form of the subject those lines are not that important so you can see here I removed the thickness of the window the thickness here and this is still recognizable 
but this this part here that the recess that goes into the building this part that I remove is actually an important line but for simplification I do have to remove something so I turn it into something like this but when you look at this versus this you can tell straight away that this is on the surface of the wall but this is going into the wall so that is um, the sort of sacrifice you have to make if you want to simplify and when we look at um, this three so the lines that do not contribute to the form are lines that are on this vertical window here so even if I did not draw um, this part here this is still recognizable as a window even if I do not draw the horizontal grills here this is still recognizable as a window even if I do not draw the handrails here this still looks like the opening of the window and this is in its simplest form if you look at this on its own isolated like this it may not look like a window but because this is part of a building and usually when you are drawing so small this is actually part of your larger drawing and there would be other elements maybe other windows on the side here here and when you have several repeating elements or other elements that add to the drawing you will be able to tell that this is actually a window because of all the surrounding elements on its own like this it may not look like a window but once you add something to go alongside it starts to look like a window this is a fun and challenging exercise that you can go through on your own you just have to find a subject to draw and with each new drawing just try and remove a few lines here and there and repeat it until you break it down into the simplest form another tip i can give you is if you have problems simplifying stuff if you're someone who likes to draw a lot of details draw with a very thick pen with a very thick pen or a blunt pencil you cannot afford to draw details because there's just no space for you to draw details unless you are drawing very big all right, that's all for today's tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to support my YouTube channel, you can check out my online drawing courses on Gumroad or support me on Patreon. Links are all in the video description below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.